In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a coaching and consulting funnel in System.io. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to set up your funnel if you're offering free discovery calls. And then I'm going to show you how to make a tweak to your funnel if you're a coach who charges for your initial call. Now, of course, if you do that, then there's going to have to be some sort of justification as to why you're charging for the call. For example, you're solving a specific problem on that call as well as going through the discovery process. Of course, it's up to you how you play that. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you the pages needed in the funnel and how to set them up and how to connect them all so everything works properly. Okay, so here we are inside of System.io and I have a coaching and consulting funnel that I've created here. I'm going to show you the pages needed and how to put it together if you want to create it yourself. Or if you just prefer to use my funnel, then I can share the link to this template with you and you can put it into your own System.io account and edit it as you wish. So if you want to do that, then the link is in the description below this video. Now this funnel is completely customizable, so you can change everything from the colors and of course the branding and your own images and your content and so on. So first of all, let me show you what each of the pages of this funnel looks like and then I'll show you how to set it up. So first of all, we have the squeeze page in our funnel and this is the squeeze page of this particular funnel here. And this is where you'll be offering a lead magnet in exchange for an email address. So this is where you'll be collecting your leads. Your visitors will click the button here to enter their name and email and they'll be able to download your ebook. And then they are sent to the second page, which is essentially a thank you page. Just to thank them for opting in to grab your free lead magnet. But here in the video, you can also offer a very short mini training on one particular pain point that helps them to, to resolve that pain point quickly. So this is essentially an opportunity for you to demonstrate your authority on the topic and demonstrate how good you are at potentially being able to solve their problems. And of course, in your video, you just then direct them to book a discovery call with you here, which will then take them to page number three, which is a prospecting page where you can ask your prospects a few questions that you'd like to know ahead of your call. Now, at the moment, I've put in the survey feature here inside of System.io just as a placeholder, but this won't actually work in this particular type of funnel where it's set up. So it's just a placeholder to show you where we're going to embed our form. What we're actually going to do is embed a Google form here. And I'll show you that in the video. So then once our prospect has filled out that Google form, click this button here to be taken to the next step where they can actually book their call with you, which is this page here. So this is the page where we have our calendar. So again, here I'm using System.io's calendar because it's Quick and easy setup, looks really nice. And it integrates perfectly with System.io because <laughs> you know, it's part of the platform. But if you're already using Calendly or TidyCal, for example, and you just prefer those calendars because you're happy with them, then instead of using the System.io calendar, you can easily embed any other type of calendar here if you wanted to. I'll tell you a bit more about that later on in the video in case you want to do that. Anyway, once your prospect has selected their appointment time and then go to step two and fill in their details to book their call, you will receive an email to let you know that a new prospect has booked a call with you and your prospect is also pinged the email with the call details, as well as the Zoom or Google Meet link, whatever it is you're using, so they can join the call at the right time. And then from here, they're sent to the final page, which is a thank you page. Just thank them for booking the call with you. Now here, you can either shoot a quick 30 second video of yourself just to welcome them and to say you're looking forward to connecting with them on the call. Or if you prefer, you can just delete this video and put text here just to say the same thing and direct them to your social media channels as well. Now, there is a sixth page in this funnel, just in case you wanted to charge for your initial call, which is a checkout page right here. Now, if this is the case, this checkout page will be placed in between the prospecting page and the booking page they can book in with you. So that's if you want to charge for the call. Okay, so now you've seen what the pages look like of this coaching and consulting funnel. Let me show you inside each page and I'll show you the important bits you need to be aware of to make sure all the pages are connected quickly and everything's set up properly, as well as how to change any elements that you might want to switch out. Okay, so here we are back inside of System.io. Now, first of all, if you do choose to use my coaching and consulting funnel, the one I've just shown you, again, you can get access to that via the link in the description below this video. Once you pull the funnel into your account, you'll find it under websites under sales funnels and it'll appear right here looking like this. So when you click on the name of the funnel here, you'll be brought into the editor for this funnel. Now, the first page you want here is the squeeze page. So if you go onto the far right hand side and click on the edit page button, now here brings us into the editor. Now you can, of course, change anything you want in here. Of course, you can change your logo here. This is done by an image. So when you highlight the logo in the left hand menu bar here, you want to select this first one that says image file, click on the cloud icon. And here is where you can drag and drop the image of your logo. And it's again, the same thing with the image of your ebook or your lead magnet, whatever that is. Click on it. And then up in the top left here is where you can drag and drop and upload your image to go here. And if you want to change your colors, of course you can do that. So first of all, if we select this background here, you see in the left hand side menu bar here, we've got the background color and you can change that to whatever you might want it to be. So if you want it to be blue, for example, or orange or whatever, you can quite easily change that, put that back. And now this is the important bit here. This is the button that will trigger the pop up in order for you to be able to collect email addresses from people. So this button is connected to a pop up. So if we come up to the top left hand side, we'll see this button here that says pop ups. Click on this and you'll see here it says pop up number one. 
which will already be set up. Now to have a look at this pop-up, we need to click on this little eye icon and this will open the pop-up for us here. So at the moment, the form has the name and the email address. If for whatever reason you wanted to connect more information, you certainly can do so. All you'd need to do is come over to the left menu bar and from the elements, scroll down and find the form input and then drag that in and drop it where you want it. And then when you select that input in the left menu bar again up the top here under input type, here is where you can select what kind of input it is. For example, if it's a phone number or country or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to delete that for now because generally speaking at this point, we're only looking to collect an email address really at this stage because we're only offering a free lead magnet right now. Generally speaking, the more information you ask at this stage, the less amount of opt-ins you'll get. So just bear that in mind. And the other really important thing to be aware of is that once the visitor submits this form, you want them to automatically be redirected to page number two in our funnel. So in order to do that, once the button's selected, the menu bar on the left will change again. And we want in this section here where it says action when button clicked, we need that to be from the drop down submit form. So that means it will submit the contact information to your system or your account. And then the next option, do you want to redirect user after contact registration? So yes, we do. And the option you want to choose is to the next step, which will bring the visitors to the next step in our funnel. Now, if you're using my funnel template, then this is already all going to be set up for you. So you won't need to worry about it. So this is just in case you want to create this yourself for whatever reason. Anyway, let's go save changes and we'll go to the next page, which will be the thank you page. So I'll show you a couple of important things on here, what you'll need to change yourself. Come to edit page on the right hand side again. Now on this page, the only things you're really going to need to change is adding your own video. So if you click on the video, you'll see the menu bar on the left hand side changes again. So now if your video is hosted on a platform like YouTube or Wistia or Vimeo or anywhere like that, in that case, what you need to do, where it says video type from the drop down, you'll make sure this is on direct link. And then here where it says URL, this is where you paste the URL of your video. Alternatively, if you prefer to upload your video to your system.io account, so system.io will host your video instead of somewhere like YouTube. In that case, under video type, you'll select upload file, and then you'll have the option to upload your video there. And then you want to make sure this button here is set to redirect the person to the next page. So by clicking on the button in the left sidebar menu again, where it says action when button clicked, the drop down we want to select next step url that's pretty much all the things you're going to want to know on this page anything else is just aesthetics very simple to make these changes by clicking on the element and then changing out for your own images changing them out for your own testimonials and so on anyway let's go save changes and exit this page so now our visitor will then be directed to the third page in our funnel which is our questionnaire so with the questionnaire selected i click on edit page and then we come into the page where we have the questionnaire so for now, I've put this survey form here as a placeholder, but this survey, just so you know, won't actually work in this particular funnel. The reason we want it to work, I've just left this here as a placeholder. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to delete this and embed a Google form instead. So to do that, what we need to do is come over to the left hand side to the menu bar under elements, scroll all the way down to the bottom and select this one that says raw HTML. Drag this in just above this heading that says after you submit the form, Click the button below to book your time slot. So now we have the HTML element in here. Then we need to head over to Google Forms and you can access Google Forms via your Gmail account and then coming over to the Google Apps icon in the top and then selecting Forms. And then here you can create a form. This is just a dummy form. So once you've created your form and you've clicked Publish on your form, come to the top right of these little dot menu and then select Embed HTML. Now grab your HTML code here, copy this, come back to your questionnaire page in your funnel. And now we need to click on this raw HTML element. And again, the menu bar on the left hand side will change. And now click this button that says edit code. And now here, we need to highlight the bit of code that's already in there, delete that, and then paste in our code for our form and click save. And now this has embedded the form into our page. Now don't worry, it's not going to look as bad as this when we actually publish the page. But before we do that, we're just going to delete this survey element now, because this was just a placeholder, just to give you a visual on where your form is going to go. So we're going to delete this, click delete and click on save. So what will happen is I'll just show you the page first of all. This is what the page will look like. So I'll come here and they'll be able to fill in the form. And then when they click this submit button, they then afterwards need to come down here and click this button here to go to your calendar page. So we just need to make sure this button is when it's selected in the left menu bar where it says action when button clicked. This is on next step URL and then click save changes. So now when your visitor gets to this page, they fill out the form, they submit the form, then they click the button here to go to our calendar, which will be this page right here. So to edit the page as our calendar, we need to come to this page, which is the discovery call page. Come over to the right hand side and click on the edit page button. And now in here, here is where our calendar is. So if you're going to use the system.io calendar, like I have it here set up in my coaching funnel right here, 
You find the calendar in the left-hand side menu right here. You just need to make sure that when you drag it in, that you connect the correct calendar to your funnel. If you're not sure how to set up your calendar inside of system.io, then you can watch this video that I'm showing on the screen right now. That video will show you step-by-step -step exactly how to set up your calendar and then how to embed it on your page. It's actually really simple, but you need to follow those instructions to make sure you do it correctly. Now, alternatively, if you didn't want to use the system.io calendar, if you've perhaps already used something like Calendly or TidyCal and you're happy with that calendar and you don't want to switch, that's also fine. And you can embed your other calendar like Calendly or TidyCal or any other type of calendar. You can embed it into your funnel page here and then just delete the system.io one. So if you wanted to do that, then watch this video that I'm showing on the screen right now. And that video is also linked up in the description below this video, so it's easy for you to find it. So you have an option there. Then when you've made your changes to your page, click Save Changes. And then from our calendar page, once our prospect has chosen their time slot and then filled out the contact details, they're going to be then redirected to the final page, which is the Thank You page. And that is this Thank You page in the funnel right here. So we select this, come to Edit Page. And now if you're using my template, the only thing here to do really is a couple of things. First of all is just to add your video. So like a you know 30 second video of you just thanking your new prospect for booking an appointment with you and you're looking forward to seeing them or whatever you want to say. You do that by selecting the video and then the top left hand side here, you can add the URL for your video. And then underneath here, the next thing to do is just to hyperlink each of these social icons to your Facebook page, your Instagram, your YouTube and your X account. So you'll do that by clicking on each one individually. So if we select the Facebook one and now in the left hand sidebar where it says action when image clicked, we want to select the top option, which is open URL. And now here is where you'll paste in your Facebook URL. And then you do the exactly same thing for your Instagram and your YouTube and your X. And then of course, you just want to update this information with the testimonials with your testimonials and then the write up for you. And of course, switch your picture out here and then you're good to go. Okay. So now the next thing to show you is how to connect your automated email follow up sequence to your opt in form at the start of your funnel where prospects are going to opt in to download your free lead magnet. And then after I've shown you that, I'm going to show you how to make a tweak to your funnel in case you want to offer paid calls instead of free discovery calls. So back in our funnel here, we want to make sure that the squeeze page is selected because that's the page where we're collecting the email address in exchange for our lead magnet. And we're going to come to this tab here. It says automation rules. And we're going to set up an automation rule to connect that form submission to our automated email follow up. So first thing we're actually going to need to do first of all, before we do this is come up to emails and then select campaigns. And now here, need to create a campaign. So your campaign is your automated email follow-up sequence that would look something like this, that would have multiple emails in the sequence and they'll be dripped out at different intervals like this. So if you're not sure how to set this up, then you can watch this video that I'm showing on my channel right now. That video is also linked in the description below this video, so it's easy for you to find it. And that video will walk you step-by-step -step through exactly how to set up your automated follow-up sequence. So then once that's set up, the next thing you need to do is come to CRM and select tags. We want to add a tag to everyone that opts in on this first page of our funnel to download our ebook. Because that way, a tag will be applied to the email address of each subscriber, and then we'll know exactly which funnel they opted in on, or which lead magnet they downloaded, or whatever it is you want to tag them with. So I recommend either tagging them by the funnel or by the lead magnet. So come over to the top right corner, click on create, and we're going to tag them by the funnel. So I'm just going to name this tag coaching tag demo. And I'm just going to put a few stars next to it. That's just for me. So I'll remember to delete this after because I don't want to keep this tag here. But it's just an example for you guys. Click on save. And now here is our tag. So as simple as that to create it. And then we need to head back into our funnel. So now we have our tag set up and we have our automated email follow up sequence set up already. So now at this point in our funnel, we make sure that the squeeze page is selected. Because so again, that's the page where we have our opt in form with our lead magnet. Select this option, automation rules, and then click add rule. And then the trigger for this rule we need to select is this one funnel step form subscribed. So that means once someone subscribes to that form that's on our landing page of our funnel, what action is going to happen? And the action that's going to happen is the first action will be to add a tag. And then now we have a drop down menu here. And it's going to ask, well, which tag? And then we can scroll all the way through and find the correct tag, click save rule. And then we need to come over to the right hand side and click on these little dots menu and select edit automation rule because we need to add a second action to this same trigger, this funnel set form subscribed. And that second action will be click the plus button will be subscribed to campaign. And now here we have another drop down and then we select the correct campaign that you've set up with your automated email follow up sequence. So that's just for argument's sake, let's just say it's this one, click save, and now you're good to go. It's as simple as that. Okay, so now all your funnel is pretty much set up. 
The only thing left to show you now is if you choose to use this funnel to offer paid coaching calls, let me show you how to tweak the funnel so you can do that. So back inside our funnel once again, and we look at the order of our pages. So this is currently how it will be if you're offering free discovery calls. So again, we have the squeeze page where we'll offer the free lead magnet, which is this page here. Then we have the thank you page with your mini training to boost your authority and encourage a discovery call. Then from here, they're shifted to the questionnaire page, which will be here. And then the discovery call page where they can book their appointment with you. And then the thank you page, thanking them, booking their appointment and advising them on any next steps. So now there's this optional page at the bottom here, which is the checkout page. Again, if you're using my funnel here and you're just using it for free discovery calls, then feel free just to leave this as it is. Leave it here because when a person reaches this final thank you page here, they won't be able to access this checkout page anyway. So you can delete it or you can just leave it there just in case you change your mind later on and you decide that you do want to use this funnel for paid calls. In that case, what we'll do is we'll drag this checkout page and move it up after the first thank you page. So now prospects will come to the squeeze page to download your lead magnet, which again is this page. They'll then go to the thank you page with your mini training to boost your authority and encourage call booking, which is this page. And then they'll be sent to this page. So when they click on the button to book the discovery call, they'll then be directed to the checkout page. And of course you charge whatever you want to charge for your call. And then once the client submitted the payment, they are then redirected to the questionnaire page where they will fill out your contact form. Now, remember, as I showed you earlier in the video, that's going to be a Google form. And then they'll click next button to book their time slot with you. And then they're sent to the final thank you page as before. That's the only difference. So it's just a question of reordering this checkout page to be after the first thank you and free mini training page. Now, if you have any questions, then leave me a comment below this video and I'll get back to you. Also, if you want to use my coaching and consulting funnel template, then you can get access to it via the link in the description below this video. Now, if you got value from this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you need more help with System.io, then I've got lots of System.io step-by-step -step tutorials on my channel and you can see my System.io playlist right here.